This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. One of the best thing about Google Ads is that you can run a very successful campaign even with a small budget. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can calculate a realistic minimum budget for your business. So you don't have to burn your money with unrealistic budgets. It's an important thing for beginners in particular to know. So let's get into it. I'm here inside a Google Ads account and I've gone into the Keyword Planner tool. What I want you to do is I want you to enter the core keyword that really describes the product or service that you offer. Something very obvious. So for example, if you were to advertise a car wash business, advertising their services, we would simply enter in something like car wash. And if I go ahead and pop that same into the Keyword Planner and click on Get Results, then we get a lot of information here. And what I want you to focus on is top of the page bits, low range and high range. In our case, the low range is 35p and the high range is 1.66. So that's an estimate of what we might end up paying per click. Now, in terms, now in terms of your minimum starting budget, what I'd like you to do is times the high range number by five, which in our case is going to come around 8.3 pounds. And for the safer side, let's keep nine pounds. So nine pounds per day would be a good minimum starting budget for this car wash business. And the reason why we times it by five is that we need to get enough clicks for Google and you to get enough data to be able to optimize your campaigns. If you're only getting one or two clicks a day, it's going to take forever for you to work out which campaign performs the best. If you times it by five and we are using the high range number, then you are going to generate at least five clicks a day. And realistically speaking, you are probably going to generate more like 10, even maybe more because you're not going to be paying the high range number, the absolute top of the range per click every single time. The average is probably going to be somewhere between those two numbers in the low range and the high range. So we are probably looking at more like 10 clicks per day, which is really good starting point to get the data to be able to optimize your campaign when you're operating with small Google Ads budget. Now that you know how to calculate a realistic budget for your campaign, there are a few more things that you really need to be aware of and some tips I'm going to run through now. I recommend starting by advertising just one product or service. You don't want to spread out that small budget thinly because then you're going to run into the same issue that we are trying to avoid in the first place, which is only generating say one or two clicks per product or service and not getting enough data. If you're just starting with one product or service, you're gonna consolidate that data into the campaign that's designed for that product or service. You're going to find out what works and what does not and will be able to optimize all that good stuff. I recommend starting with your best performing product or service. You want to put your best foot forward. You want the one that is most likely to do well. And what that's going to allow you to do is reinvest. So let's say you set up a campaign and it's your best seller. It performs well. Then you can increase your budget with those results with the revenue generated and scale up the campaign and generate more revenue and scale up the campaign again. And then of course, once it's sticking all nicely, then you can take some of that revenue generated to fund campaigns for other products or services that you might sell. So that is a typical approach that we would take. With small budget, it's really important to be quite aggressive with your offers, particularly if you're operating in an industry where there are known competitors. Why would your prospects choose you, a business that they have never heard of or a business that they might know, that they might have bought from before, that they definitely trust more? You do that by being more aggressive with your offers. Can you undercut the one price significantly? Can you offer much better level of service or much better level of quality? There are different ways to improve your offers and that's something I would really, really focus on, particularly with small budgets. You also want to be as clear as you possibly can be about what is that you offer in your ad copy because you want to filter out all those people that would otherwise have clicked. But when they come through the site, they realize that what you offer isn't actually for them. And then they just bounce off. And that's a waste of money when you've got a small budget. So you can include things in your ad copy around price or who is this offer about? Is it for students? Is it for people working in a certain industry? Or perhaps it's a subsection of your niche that you particularly focus on. So you can filter out those people at the ad level with your ad copy. And that's really, really important with a small budget because you don't want to be paying for those clicks for the people who aren't going to convert. 
As you are interested in finding out how to set up a profitable Google Ads campaign, I think you will benefit massively from checking out this video. It's a guide on how to do a keyword research for your Google Ads campaign and it walks you through the entire process. Give it a watch.